who is Sadiq Hadzovic? Well, Sadiq is probably a guy that's similar to you. And yeah, I'm a bodybuilder. I'm a fitness personality. Um, but I'm just a normal guy who started working out 12 years ago. And I never wanted to be the world's best bodybuilder. I never wanted to be on front covers. I never wanted any of the fame or the paychecks or the accolades. I was just a simple guy who wanted to gain some muscle. All right, not bad. My first real goal was to gain five pounds of muscle. I looked in the mirror one day when I was 18 years old and I didn't like the way I looked. I was 140 pounds, I was skinny, and I said I need to change, you know? I need to start eating and I need to start exercising to gain weight because I didn't like my body image. I didn't like the way I looked. So I found weight training. And throughout the years of weight training, I started to put on size. I started to build strength. I started to feel comfortable in my skin where I had that confidence where I could, you know, approach a girl or look another man in the eyes when I'm talking to them. So that kind of confidence reflected in everything I did and it improved my life in every single way. Now let's fast forward a little bit. There are about six years of weight training. I joined a gym, it was called Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym. And little did I know that this was a world renowned bodybuilding gym where I laid eyes on my first bodybuilder. And I said, I gotta do this. You know, I gotta do this. I kept on going. I got addicted to improving. I got addicted to seeing how far I could take my body. I wanted to be the best at something. And I'd never been the best at anything in my life. I never grew up playing sports. I never had a lot of friends. I was always insecure because I grew up without a father. So all these things, you know, really pushed me to achieve greatness. So, we were just talking about what do we want to do first, the hack squat or the uh, Smith Machine squat? Me and my trainer partner, we both said, where's gonna get us the most pussy, money, and titles? That's what we're doing first. Pretty much sums it up. <laughs> it's really cool to share my journey with my training partners. I had Vlad, who's just an incredible guy, great bodybuilder. Uh, he's, he's going after his pro card this year, so he's always pushing me. There's never any quit in this guy. And I have Gino, my friend, who's just all around, funny, awesome. He's never in a bad mood, you know. And uh, they make my training a lot more enjoyable. And obviously, we got Dr. Mike Camp, who always watches me, you know. Always making sure I do things correctly, fixing my posture during my sets, so. It's really improving my game. One thing you guys gotta watch is when Sadiq's lifting, he's very locked in with his entire body. He generates tension throughout, and that's the thing that comes with a lot of experience, and he's gained it very quickly. If you can lift for generating good tension, you're gonna stay strong through your reps, which means more force production, which is good for simulation with this. Okay, let's go. Come on. Tight. Very good form. Keep the heavy weight, locks it in really strong. Come on, good four reps. Good drive, up. Drive, 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 good, let's go. Nice power, good drive, up. There's two, come on. 
Come on, two more. You got this. Let's go. Tight. Let's go. Come up. Nice as a whole. Yeah. You got another one. Lock it in. Go. Come on, let's do this. Control, 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 control. Come on. Keep pushing. Whoa. Nice. Good. Good shit. Woo. So we have a few things to improve on this time around. What we need to improve on this year is we need more back thickness. So I've been working really diligently with my trainer, with my training partners in the gym to build a lot of back density. Another thing we need to bring out is my conditioning. Conditioning has to be razor sharp this year. So last year was my debut in the classic physique division, which is a homage to old school bodybuilding. I placed third in the world with only five months of training. And to me, that's a true testament of who I am, my resilience, my commitment. I did something nearly impossible. You know, I've never hit a pose on stage before. And here I am competing against guys that have been bodybuilding for 20 years at the professional level. You know, a lot of times during my training, I think about how am I gonna get out of this? You know, do I fake an injury? Do I do a run out to an emergency? <laughs> do I try to put my head in a different place? But in all 12 years, I've never, I've never quit on a workout early. I've never left the gym early without completing my workout, ever. I never will. And that's, that's why I am who I am. You know, I expect so much out of myself that I don't stop at just enough. There's never just enough. It's always more. So this year the goal is to make all those improvements on my back, on my overall conditioning, and come in and win the Mr. Olympia. You know, and after we win the Mr. Olympia, the goal is to see how many times I can win. You know, I'm not content with just being the best once. I want to be the reigning champion. You know, it's always the goal. I met Ryan when he was 17 years old and he walked into the gym and he mirrored exactly who I was 12 to 13 years ago. I saw a young kid that needed direction, just going through the motions in the gym, you know? And it's been amazing the transformation he made in three years, you know? I'm so proud of him, what he's achieved, the way he holds himself, you know? He's a true adult, you know? Just no quit in him, great heart, and uh, very fortunate for that friendship, you know? I'm very fortunate for anybody I could help mentor, you know, to become better. Make him a better. Yo, what up, baby? What are you doing? Feeling good? Good to see you. Awesome. Always good to see you. Remember, Ryan? Yes, we do. Hey, How's Mike? it going, buddy? Up, How are you? Feeling good awesome. today? Yeah. That's it, man. You're always welcome. Anytime. You guys want to come by. How are you today? Killing legs today? Kill legs, but I'm a little Sweet. I'm a little hesitant about that. You can even feel it. Like, yeah. Can you feel? You can even see that it's like a little bit more pumped than this side. For sure, yeah. yeah. All right, we're so going to start training, some stuff out. When you know? I was training uh, biceps, mm -hmm. it was kind of in the back of my head, like, shit, right. I don't want to get hurt, but it kind of feels a little weird. So tomorrow's chest and okay. back. So Mike's aware of it. I told okay. him, I was like, listen, cool. this is like, kind of like bothering me. Right. But, so know, we do a little I light work in there today? Mental. Okay. Yeah, Let's do no, a whatever you suggest. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I know I'm not going to Let's start working through the tissue and just start seeing what we feel, and we'll kind of adjust the depth and pressure from there. But we'll just open it up for you. All right? Sweet. Come on in. Let's go and uh, Let's do it. Let's get in the AC. Cool, yeah. yeah. So it's no secret, you know, a lot of the stuff that athletes do, the behind the scenes work is very boring and it's very tedious. And we don't always want to do this stuff, you know. Two to three times a week, I go see Mike Stella at AMP. And man, number one, I got to thank Mike, you know. He just helping me get my body exactly where it needs to be for these 11 weeks, you know. The better I could recover after every training session, the more I could give the next day. And the more I'm able to give in the gym, and if I'm able to heal and recover quick enough, I could give more. And that is worth so much. Like, just 30 minutes can do 20 hours of recovery. Ready? 
Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Let's start on this side, just because we'll do a little bit of the deeper work on this side. Open them up, and then uh, yeah, I'll take this. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to start with, you know, our goal here is to kind of continue to improve or, like, maintain his external rotation here so that we, you know, when he's pet pressing or benching, it's also good for his posture, gets his shoulder backs, uh, his shoulder blades set back on his rib cage a little bit more so that when he's presenting, you know, he's got that nice full look, right? You don't want to be like that... Uh, that forward shoulder posture, which it's easy to do as you're kind of like really working these internal rotators like your pack and your lat and your sub scap. So we're gonna kind of release all three of those. It's not all about <laughs> going out, you know, shaking hands and autographs. It's a lot of boring stuff, you know? It's a lot of hours in the gym. It's a lot of hours, you know, getting deep tissue. Tender? Yeah. I'm gonna go really light. I just wanna create a little bit of blood flow around this. Ooh. It's gonna be super, super light stuff. It's a lot of hours taking naps, you know, when you'd rather be at the beach or you, <laughs> you know, you'd rather be hanging out with your friends or out picking up girls, but you know, you're stuck in the gym, you know, but it's the commitment. That's what makes a good athlete, but that's also what makes a great athlete. This is called a PRI technique, okay? It's called right apical expansion. So I'm gonna use the power of his diaphragm to kind of help create better alignment between his ribs, his ribs and his and his pelvis. Okay, a little bit better symmetry. So we will notice if you look down here, like this right rib cage kind of like pops up a little bit more. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna kind of kink yourself to me and kind of really expand that right side. So bring your head kind of like over here, like just kink your upper body this way. This arm's gonna come right down here. This arm's gonna stay right where it is. All right. Bend this knee. I'm gonna lower you down a little bit so you get some leverage. So what you're noticing is I'm kind of like really elongating this, this right lateral chain here. So see, what I want you to do now is take a big belly breath in through your nose and then blow it out hard out of your mouth like you're blowing up a balloon. All the way out, all the way out, all the way out, all the way out. Good. Again. Good. And blow it out hard. Perfect. Okay, so now basically what I'm going to do is like post him up on this side. So I'm going to close him off. I'm going to depress his rib cage here. I'm not going to like forcefully do it, but as he exhales in the next few breaths, I'm just going to take a little bit of ground. So deep breath in and then exhale. Beautiful. So you want to be a professional athlete, huh? <laughs> this is what my weekends look like, guys. You know, it's not all traveling and cool cars and hot women and do shit. These two sets of four sets. And basically aiding that venous return and that lymphatic return to his core, you know, boom. You know, so like a 30 minute treatment on this is like resting for 12 to 20 hours in terms of blood flow. Dude, that's so you sick. You know what I mean? Man. So it's just accelerated rest, you know what I mean? It's these are called active recovery modalities. Even though he's passive, he's just kind of sitting here hanging out. It's active in the sense that it's using an active pathway. Been a difficult time using your phone? <laughs> the trained professional, man. I'll make it happen. He'll get it done. He's going to get it done. Relentless. Relentless, the key baby. <laughs> That's awesome. After placing runner-up two years in a row, it just gives you such a fire, you know, because you're so close to making your dream come true. You're so close to being the best in the world. And it's not about being the best in the world so people could look at me and say, wow, Sadiq, you're the man. Wow, Sadiq, you did it. Congratulations, Sadiq, you're the best. It's not about other people. It's about me, knowing I started from nothing, you know, and I built this, and I've done something with my life. I turned my life around. I'm somebody that didn't have any confidence at all, didn't like the way he looked, didn't like the way he walked or talked, and now here I am, you know, impacting people, you know, inspiring people, empowering people, encouraging people all around the world, you know? It's not just in my local gym. 
You know, I got fans from China, I got fans from Brazil, I got fans from everywhere. And that's what really makes what I do worthwhile. <laughs> I don't know if it's from all the hard training or the fact that the neighbors were lighting fireworks all night last night for 4th of July. Maybe a combination of both, but I woke up and I saw my nieces were over, so they came to visit from Virginia. And they have like a talking parrot that just yells the whole time. Like, this parrot is loud as fuck. But it's my family, so I love them, so it's all good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, going down for my lats. Nine, there we go. Four, ten, we got five. Five, four, four, nine, three, drive down, two, one more. Good. Today we're 11 weeks out of the Mr. Olympia and I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to do things I haven't done before ready to win this thing.